Welcome back to Snackcast, everybody. Hello. We are plugging along through the great cholesterol myth. Another great um, chapter. Another great chapter. Yeah, I did, yeah. We're gonna have. We'll carve this one up too because there's there's a lot of material. Um, but it is chapter eight. The, the, go ahead. The statin deception. Yeah, this is. Uh, man, you see the stamp, the pharmaceutical stamp all over this one. Oh, big time! Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so they start this chapter with a story. Um, about a lady. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to read her name. Stephanie so. Seneff. Yeah. So Stephanie Seneff, bottom line, is wicked smart. Wicked. She was involved at MIT. Yep. And um, without going into all of her different credentials and details, she was a pioneer in the kind of AI biology space. Yeah. How, how the body can be interpreted through computers yeah so, yeah good way to put um it. she was I, I will read this um it was her pioneering work in the field of voice recognition recognition and computer systems that led to commercial applications such as siri the virtual assistant on the iphone shut up <laughs> there it goes so um so yeah really smart chick yeah right and then she it went on and go her husband got heart disease well, right. did he get heart disease? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Her husband got heart disease, and immediately the side effects that said he started, uh, that he was put on statins uh, four times the normal dose. Um, yeah, look, it says right there, Seneff's husband was diagnosed with heart disease. Yeah, I don't know. Go, go figure. <laughs> So, yeah, put on statins four times the, the dose and immediately started getting all these different side effects. And uh, I wrote them down. It was uh, debil- debilitating shoulder problems, muscle aches, weakness. He could no longer open drawers, cognitive and memory problems, depression, uh, something he had never, ever experienced before. Yeah. So, Miss Seneff has a very unique skill set. <laughs> right? She, Computers. Biology, biology and research. Says, yeah, it said like you know she could Google the way you and I just could only dream of Googling. Uh, right, right, right. She uses it as a tool and right. not just to look at. Yeah, whatever they suggest. Yeah, don't look at my history, but right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but um, so she went on this personal quest right. to figure I mean, it out. Like, she feels like her husband's dying. Of course, she had no agenda. She literally everything she does was to try and help her husband. Mm-hmm. No agenda, nobody paying her, nobody, nobody, nobody. Right. Right. And what does she find out? Or her assessment? It says uh, her specific quote was statin drugs are toxic. I liken them to arsenic, which will slowly poison you over time. Um, and then she took her husband off of all the statin therapy and her, all the all the it all went away. All the symptoms disappeared. Yeah. So what does a statin do for the audience? A statin at its core is to simply lower the cholesterol count in the body. Yes. And then it is, it does. It, they went on to say uh, next that it does have some unique properties that aren't all bad. And they likened it to yep. the blood. Um, I forgot what the term was. They likened it to the blood of like going from like a ketchup to a... Yeah. Um, so I've got it. I've got it right here. Um, the, here's what's good about statin drugs. Once they're one, they are mildly anti-inflammatory. Right. They lower C-reactive protein, um, a protein in the blood that's an excellent measure of systemic inflammation. Okay. That's one benefit. Two, they decrease blood viscosity, making the blood less like ketchup and more like right. red wine. Right. So their point is, um, in fact, it's even Dr. Sinatra says he still prescribes it, but in low dose for middle-aged men that have had a heart attack or heart disease. Extremely high-risk conditions. Right. Right. Yeah. That's it. Um, they are advocates that no woman at all should ever be on a statin. Um, and, and definitely th- there's a, a whole little gray box, um, where they yell at the, the reader to never, ever, ever put your children on a statin. That's common too. And, and, you know, you see the obesity oh, of children obesity. is really off the chain right now. Um, but yeah, it's, um, you know, so what their job is, right. Is to lower total cholesterol and they go on later on in the chapter to talk about 
uh, all the side effects, and we'll, I guess we'll get into some of those. Uh, but there was a few studies, right? Uh, late 1980s, Russell Smith, um, a psychologist with a strong background in physiology, math, and engineering, decided to write the most comprehensive and critical review of the diet heart literature yet seen, published in two volumes that span more than 600 pages. It contained 3,000 references titled Blood, Cholesterol, uh, and Coronary Heart Disease. So what he found out in all of these studies that he reviewed was that total cholesterol, decreasing the total cholesterol, had zero effect on outcome. Yeah, there was no difference in deaths as it correlated at all to cholesterol levels. Yeah, so and so they were successful. These drugs are successful at lowering cholesterol, right, as, as Scott mentioned, but the outcome was still the same. And he says uh, right here, dying with corrected cholesterol is not a successful outcome. Right. <laughs> Woo! Yay, lower cholesterol You're dead. Way my well, but how is my cholesterol? Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, um, so they do kind of in, in the same part of the chapter where Kevin was referencing Russell Smith, um, they do talk about a little bit about how the big pharma so Russell Smith went on to do these studies and um, it was, I forget the number. It's like two out of 10 or two out of six. It was one sixth. I think 12, was there was 12 total studies, 12 total studies, and 10 of them, 10 of them basically said cholesterol doesn't do Jack. Right. Two of them said it might, it might. And guess what? Those two were sponsored by <laughs> big pharma. Right. And of course that's the data they ran with promoting to the public that we can demonstrate it's heart healthy, reducing cholesterol, blah, blah, blah. So typical cherry picking of the data, I right. guess, is the point they were getting at. I think the analogy that they used, they said it'd be like pulling two white checkers out of a bucket of black checkers and claiming all checkers are white. Right. You know, so, so. selective, selective reporting. Yeah. Cherry pick. So there were uh, Smith and Pinckney. Uh, Smith got together with another guy, Pinckney, and, and conclusively demonstrated that all 30 or so studies completed before 1990 showed that you could lower cholesterol and never add a day to your life. Yeah. Woo-hoo. Yeah. Yeah. So I think tomorrow we're going to dive in a little deeper into side effects. Right. Um, because they kind of laid the groundwork with Miss Seneff's story, yep. gave us some some data, you know, demonstrating that that cholesterol count really doesn't matter at the, at, at the grand scheme. You know, because, again, we said it yesterday. Right. Do you do you want to understand the benefit or do you just not want to die? Right. right. You just don't want to have the heart attack. Yeah. Right. I mean, even if even if it's the, you know, the clockmaker type of analogy. Right. I don't I don't want to know how the clock works. I just don't want to die. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And uh, so, yeah. So some of the side effects, I mean, at a very high level, um, once you're on statins, you, you may deal with muscle pain, weakness, fatigue, memory and cognition problems um, and very serious problems with sexual functioning. So I guess tomorrow we'll... Without the sexual functioning, I'd like to die anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Just just saying. Preach. (laughs) Preach. Stating the obvious here. You know, my kids are instructed to roll me off the back of the boat if a certain variety of um, factors ever happen. I need to probably add that one to the list. (laughs) So, uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll dive into the um, the side effects, kind of uh, what statins um, do that no one really talks about. And um, it, it might might surprise you a little bit so um you good for the intro to this yeah chapter? It was, I, th- I thought it was fantastic i think we'll uh continue on this topic and really hammer down on the side effects tomorrow giddy up so questions comments concerns email us at snackcast at yes.fit stay moving see you